So let's take a look at a theorem about conditional expectations that we'll end up using in the proof of the Rao Blackwell theorem. So this theorem says that if you have two random variables x and y, then you can write the expected value of one of them, say x, in what seems like a convoluted way, but a way that will turn out to be useful. You can write it as the expectation of the expectation of x given y. So let's take a look at a proof of this theorem. And we'll start out with the joint PDF of x and y. So let f be the joint PDF. And we can note that if we wanted the marginal of, say, x, so the marginal PDF of x, we can write that as the integral over the joint PDF of x and y, and we integrate over y. And we'll end up uh, using that fact a bit, a bit below in this proof. So let's start out with the left-hand side of the theorem that says the expectation of x uh, is equal to, and then let's, let's start with the definition. So the expectation of x is actually the integral over x times the PDF of x, integral with respect to x. And now uh, we'll try to work our way to the expectation of the expectation of x given y. So we'll try to get to this right-hand side. Well, the first thing that we can do is uh, in for uh, the marginal PDF of x, we can plug in this integral, right? So we'll take the marginal uh, of, of the random variable x and we'll plug in how you get it from the joint. So this will be an integral over y of the joint PDF. And we're still integrating on the outside with respect to x. Now if you recall from Calc 3, under certain mild conditions, you can uh, swap the order of integration. So right now we're integrating uh, the variable y first and then integrating x. And Fubini's theorem that you probably learned in Calc 3 says that you can swap that order. So here we'll integrate uh, first with respect to x and then with respect to y. And I'm also going to um, change out this joint PDF with um, something that it's equal to in terms of a conditional PDF. So um, we can notice that by definition the PDF of say x given y is equal to the joint PDF over the PDF of y. And so that implies that you can write the joint PDF as being equal to the conditional of x given y times the marginal for y. And so we'll use this form here to replace the joint with the conditional times the marginal. So we still have the double integral of x times uh, f of x given y times the marginal of y. And we said we're going to swap the order of integration, so we'll do a dx and then a dy. So now let's rearrange things just a little bit further. And let's take our inner integral to be the integral of x times the conditional PDF x given y and this is an integral over x, and then we'll keep the marginal PDF of y outside and have an integral with respect to y. And now notice 
that this inner integral is really an expectation of x given y. So by definition, this here is the expectation of x given y. And so if we write that, we really have the integral of e x given y times the marginal for y integrating with respect to dy. And now by the law of the unconscious statistician, we can think about this here as some function, say a g of y, and this turns into the expectation of that g of y, but that g of y itself is an expectation. It's an e of x given y. And so that proves the theorem, right? We started with the left-hand side, the expectation of x. We did a little bit of calculus and uh, probability theory, law of, law of the unconscious statistician, and we ended up with the right-hand side, which is the expectation of the expectation of x given y.